Yeah, I ain't got time to worry about money. You know, money can't buy a real hug, I got to tell you, all right? Money can't buy it. So, and hugs are what it's all about. So, managing unexpected change, you know, like, how about this? You don't get the hug you normally get. That's an unexpected change. You don't get the acknowledgement that you normally get. That's an unexpected change. Uh, you come home and house is kind of cool and it's usually nice and warm and loving. That's an unexpected change. So how do you deal with all that? You know, how do you deal with all that? You have to be unstoppable, and that's tip number six. In order to manage any type of change, you have to be unstoppable on your own behalf. And you do that by being clear about what you do and don't want, okay? In a relationship, if you really want the relationship, you have to be really clear that you really want the relationship because there's a lot of things you have to do that you want to expedite, make faster, make it better, fix it quicker, all kinds of things. But it's not about you. It's about your partner, okay? That's why they call it a relationship. You have to learn to stay focused and undeterred by the circumstances around you no matter what anybody says to you. You have to be really clear about what you want, and you have to get committed and go do it no matter what. No matter what your head says, no matter what anybody else says, no matter how much agreement or disagreement there is, you've got to go forward. Okay? And uh, last but not least in this series, you have to stay positive. It's really easy to get negative and sit around and eat worms and be right about how weak you are. But you know what? That's not going to get you through the problem or get you through the war. Okay? And I'm talking about the mental war that you go through. You know, all of these things will come about when you live by the tips we've already talked about, being your purpose, clearing, embracing change instead of being the victim of it, having a plan, and last but not least, asking for help. You have to ask for help to get to where you're going, whether you're the person that is upside down or you're the partner who's watching the upside downness. You have to ask for help, all right? Now, so suddenly, unexpectedly, change can throw our words into a tailspin. Our, you know, not words, our worlds into a tailspin. And rightfully so. You know, a lot of good things that come out of tailspins. Okay? But the difference between those who weather such changes and come out on top and those who don't are choosing to pull up your bootstraps and to move forward. Right? You have to be committed and you've got to move forward no matter what's going on. You have to be able to see the future, maybe not be able to language it, but know that there's something better than what you got. Okay? Uh, you have to be able to face the change head on. And I don't know, you know, I don't know how I can coach about that or what I can say, but you have to be able to hang on, change hang on to the change, dance with it, fly with it, do whatever, and make sure that, you know, that you get up against it and rub up against it and learn all you can with it and go from there, all right? Choosing, to, you know, last but not least, choosing to give up, you know, what some people consider uh, the agreeable, justifiable, and right way to be a victim. Can you get that? It's all about changing that type of thinking. And you have to absolutely get to a place where you can be unstoppable. You absolutely have to. Okay? All right, now I've got a caller on the line, Linda. Linda, hi. What can I do for you? Well, hi, Clay, and I know you're getting towards the end of your call, but I, um, I, I got in on the tail end of your show today. Yeah. And um, I had a question. My in-laws are moving to a new home. Um, the home that they're moving from, they've been in for the last 45 years. Yeah. And my mother-in-law has just been, oh, it's going to be fine, it's going to be fine. Well, all of a sudden, she's in shambles over it. Mm -hmm. um, and so, obviously, it's a big change, and the emotion she's having, for her at least, is very unexpected. Yeah. So, is there something I can do to help her? Give her a hug. <laughs> yeah, because all the change that, she, that you're talking about I mean, it really doesn't mean anything. It's all about that her, what she's used to is changing. Mm -hmm. And and what she's uh, you know has her automatic way of being, her automatic way of thinking, and automatic knowing where everything is is going to be upside down for a while. It's called the biggest change in life is when somebody messes with your underwear drawer. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. You got it. Yeah. So that's really what it's all about. So, so just be there. For yeah, her. just be there and just listen and hug and ask if there's anything you can do. And then when all all else fails, give her a piece of lemon meringue pie. It works every time. There you go. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right, bye. All right, bye-bye. Now, so what I'm talking about here is, you know, you have to remember. You absolutely have to remember. If you're the only one that has a say in how your life turns out, what do you want? If you're the only one that, quite frankly, has before you what level of commitment you are in a relationship, all right, what do you want to do? Okay? 
You have to really get that sometimes you can't have it either the way you want it or on the clock that you want it. Sometimes you can't fix what you think you can't fix. Sometimes it's not about you at all. Sometimes it's about your partner or your coworker or your partner in business or your partner in marriage or whatever, where they have to do things on their clock, their way, doing their stuff. And I got to tell you, it's hard to do. I can sit here on this radio show and just tell you all kinds of really great things on how to handle this kind of stuff. And then I got to go home and uh, be quiet. I don't be quiet easy. So just get, you know, life is full of changes, most of them unexpected. And without them, we'd be really bored. We'd roll over and die or, quite frankly, eat a lot of bonbons and M&Ms and get diabetes and have to go see a doc and pay a bunch of money. Anyway, a little humor there. All right. So you've been listening to Clay Nelson on the Clay Nelson Light Balance Hour. And the show has been, you know, pretty much spontaneous today about managing unexpected change, not just in your life, but in the world, not just in your schools, but on the street, not just in the kitchen, all right, but in the grocery store. Unexpected change. And you better get used to it because it's happening at Mach 20, soon to be going at Mach 30. And um, if you've looked around, there's no one else in charge of the planet but you, okay? So we got to dance. So thanks for listening. Join us mm, every Wednesday from 2 to 3 p.m. and then again from 10 to 11 p.m. and then on Sundays from 12 to 1, which you can sit down and listen to the show in a very gracious, slow, easy, appreciative way and get ready to manage whatever change I put before you. So I'm Clay Nelson, and this is the Clay Nelson Life Balance Hour on KZSB AM 1290 in Santa Barbara.